Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we are going to change some of these coasters that came from Poundland and you get a set of two in a pack. This is how they come and they've already got the little stoppery things on the bottom just so they don't mark the work top. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover them with a napkin. Now if you haven't seen this before, this is called decoupage and what you do is you get a patterned napkin and it's basically you're separating the napkin and you're transferring the top layer of the napkin onto something else and it can be all sorts of things it can be furniture um, or it can be everything loads of different things that you want to do you can do it too so what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to paint the very very top layer here very carefully of the coaster now I'm not going to go to the edge because I want this slate kind of uneven effect still around the top but I think if I put this on just the first sort of just one layer, I think it will you'll be able to see through it. So I'd like some paint on there to start with. Now, the paint that, I've, that I'm going to use here is Surfer and this is from Vintage with Grace and it's chalk paint. And I've just poured some in a tub. And all I'm going to do is just paint a layer of this chalk paint onto the top of this coaster. So. I'm going to just going to be quite careful just to go to the top, not to go down the sides. If one layer is not enough, when it's dry, I'll just go over and I'll do another layer. Right, these are dry now. So what we're going to do is to put some of the napkin on the top. Now, napkins are generally three ply and all you need to do to separate them, I just tend to lick my fingers and you can just separate the plies and all you want is the top the top part and just separate this and this is the part that we want just the top bit with the pattern on and as you can see it's quite see-through that's why I decided to paint underneath first so what I'm going to do is to get some of the matte finish this is Paula's from the Fairy Chic Emporium you can use Mod Podge that will work just as well I'll pour a little tiny bit in the lid. This is thinner than Mod Podge. You can also use watered down PVA, that works as well. So all I'm going to do is just to paint some of the um, Fairy Chic and pour in the matte finish onto the bit of the paint. So don't try not to go down to the actual slate bit, the bit that's still looking like slate. Get your napkin and we're just going to use this central kind of design. And I'm going to get one of these little pocket folders, you know, the plastic wallets. Just use that to smooth it down. This is instead of using cling film because you can just reuse this over and over again. It won't ruin. And once that's smoothed down, what we're going to do is just leave that to dry. So we're not going to worry about all these extra bits. We're just going to leave that to dry fully over the top. I'm just going to do exactly the same for the others. Once that's dried a little bit, I'll go over it again with a bit more of the matte finish on the top and um, then we'll do the next stage. These have now dried and what we need to do is to take off this part of the napkin. Now what we normally do with things like this is we get a nail file or something like that and we do that just brush away and it comes away but because we've got the slate underneath that will probably mark the slate and also it doesn't really it does bring it away but it leaves a little bit of a sort of messy look so what I've got is I've got one of these little scrub daddy things and it's like a scouring pad so you can just use a scouring pad but this is not like the green ones I didn't know if the green ones would leave like a bit of a mark so all I did, um, I kind of lent, lent on the side, so it, it sort of, let me see if I can find something to lift up, because I went on the side of the table, so if I show you like this, you'll see, so you've got half sort of hanging over, and then make sure the sponge is a bit wet, because you want to wet this part of the napkin, and then all we're doing is we're just pulling it away, and that I found gives you kind of the best look so do that all the way around the four sides 
and I've found that this is the best way to do it. So make sure when you're doing the paint, when you're doing the glue, to go on exactly the bit that you want the napkin to stick to. If you go down the edge, down there, you're going to get it all stuck and it's all going to get stuck in these bits and you'll get bits stuck down there. So that's why be careful when you're putting the paint and putting the glue on. So you can just tidy these little bits up. I'll just tidy those bits as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to seal it. Now, I am a big fan of polyvine. It's really good stuff. It's not very cheap. You can use watered down PVA. You can use Mod Podge. You can use the matte finish. I really like this. So I'm going to use this one. This is the dead flat finish. So we can go, we can do all this because it's all dry. So if it wasn't dry, it wouldn't let me rub it like this. So I'll just get that, those last few little bits off and then we'll paint over the top with the, the wax finish. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to get some of this polyvine sealer and then we're just going to paint it over the top. And what I did with the others is... I went over it and I also went over the corner bits as well where the, you can see the slate and that just makes sure it covers all and you don't get any sort of lifting corners from the napkin. So what I would suggest to do is to let this first one dry and then give it another, you know, another coat of this and that will be it. Now I've done the other three to show you and I'll just show you those now while that one starts drying. And this is what they look like when they're all dry. And I just think they look really, really pretty. Now, these would make ideal presents as well. So if you wanted to give these as presents to people, they'd be fantastic. And I'll show you with three of them because the other one's not dry. You can get some raffia or something like that. You could make hand make a tag. And all I would do is just tie them together. So start at the top. And just tie something like this round it just makes it more of a gift and you could also sell these as well if you wanted to and the stuff wouldn't cost too much obviously it's your time to make them um, but they're a really really sweet gift and i know other places do sell these slate tiles as well i think i've seen them in b m so just do that tie yourself a bow and then maybe just snip these bits off. I'd put a tag on if it was me. They're probably a bit long, but it just gives you the idea. So that's it really. I'll let the other one dry and then I'll add it to the little stack. But I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with your friends and consider subscribing if it's something that you want to see again. So I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.